the video on growing cacao naturally in Florida in winter. It's two days after we had a uh, freeze, got down to 31.1, gave me anxiety for several hours. <clears throat> Here's a seedling cacao that's been in the ground for about seven months, Trinitori. Uh, uh, most of that damage is from wind. It was really windy before it got cold. Cacao don't like wind. That cacao has never been watered and we're in a severe drought right now. We have about 80 seedlings that big that we've never watered. We've been in the ground seven months. And then we have a cacao that's been in the ground for five years. Off a tree, I got the fruit that I fruited the fruit, the seed, and it flowered for the first time this year. And in the winter, because when it's windy, it starts losing its leaves. Uh, from the wind, mostly. It didn't mind 31.1, which I was under the impression that that's not possible, but it's obviously possible. We have some finger lime seedlings in here. Michael Seed, thank you. See them. There they are. They don't get watered. I've never watered them. That's been in the ground for two years. This is a fruiting Garcinia Intermedia. I have a few of those, more than I want really, but oh well. Um, There's our rarest tree, a Coloc, Talisia floresii. Didn't mind 31.1 at all. Then we got little seedlings of Achacha and Dolchis. This is an Achacha seedling. And cacao and citrus all growing through here. There's another seedling cacao. Trinitorio, I think. I have two types. I have the yellow sweet one that I fruited and the Trinitorio. Anyway, that's Frog Valley Farm.